Welcome everybody to YWC Predictions. This is a quick video to let you guys know that we have a new championship format heading into the upcoming pay-per-view. Instead of one championship on the line, we now have four championships on the line. They include the current YWC World Championship, which is currently being held by Kyle Matthews, but also three brand new titles are on the line, including the Intercontinental Championship, the Cruiserweight Championship, and the X Division Championship. We have about 12 to 14 people who regularly give predictions here for YWC and thus there will be three to four people in each division to battle for each championship heading into the upcoming pay-per-view. The current champion Kyle Matthews will of course be defending the world championship all the other people will be at random. If after each pay-per-view we have a clear-cut winner that champion of said division will remain in that division for the next pay-per-view to defend their title. All other participants will be put into a shakeup and may find themselves in a different division battling for a different title when we get to WrestleMania. If we do not have a clear-cut winner for the three championships that have been added, if we have a tie amongst any people for that win, that title will remain vacant until we get to WrestleMania there will not be a champion of those three divisions unless we have a clear-cut winner. Bonus points from Elimination Chamber will roll over into the totals of this pay-per-view. Look below in the description to see who is in what division battling for what title. And now, let's get into the predictions. Welcome everybody here to predictions for our next WWE pay-per-view. It's the SmackDown exclusive Fast Lane that we are doing predictions for. And as you saw prior to this video, things have been shaken up a little. There are four titles on the line. And so, yeah, YWC getting a little bit interesting now in terms of predictions. Uh, we do have six people that come into this pay-per-view with bonus points from Elimination Chamber. We had a six-way tie uh, where... Six people completely predicted the card correctly, and those six people that come in with one bonus point are Chris Dollerton, Kev Shearer, Kyle Matthews, Preston Plourd, Trent Dunham, and myself. So, as we stated there are f in the video before this, that there are four titles on the line. We have the World Championship, which is currently held by Kyle Matthews. He's putting that on the line against Tim Smith and Preston Plourd. We have a four-way a uh, match for the Intercontinental Championship between Trent Dunham, Michael Norman, myself, and Dylan Poteet. We have a four-way title battle for the Cruiserweight Championship between Levi McIntyre, Kev Shearer, Dylan Young, and Tim Fiegel. And we have a four-way battle between Chris Dollerton, James Shelley, Steve Rada, and Joshua Michaels for the X Division Championship. Uh, you can look down in the description to see all the different picks of these different people and those are the titles that are on the line. I said it to these guys before, I'll just say it real quickly here, for the Intercontinental Cruiserweight and X Division Championships, if we have a tie for the win, those titles are vacant heading into WrestleMania. So, with that being said, let me introduce the boys in the band that are going to be giving you verbally their picks here in this episode. First off, we have Dylan Poti. Hi, how are you? We have James Shelley. Uh, blame Shellsworth, actually. <laughs> Mr. Chris Dollerton. No! Kev Shear. I like pizza. Preston Plourd. How's it going, my fellow skate punks? And Trent Dunham. <laughs> and Trent Dunham? <laughs> yeah, he's quiet. There he is, okay. <laughs> my god. Alright, so uh, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six confirmed matches uh, on the card. We're going to go down them and uh, give you our predictions. We also have two people who, well, actually, we have now only one person because Preston is here. Uh, we will be giving you Dylan Young's predictions uh, after everybody gives their predictions for each one of the matches. So let's get right into it. Dilly Dylan. Right yes, indeed. So let's get right into it. First match Becky Lynch and Naomi taking on Natalia and Carmella, a match. Merely to remind us the fact that Carmel is the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. No other reason. Dylan, who you got? Uh, I'm gonna say Becky Lynch's team's gonna win. Alrighty. Uh, Shelley. Kind of uh, semi straightforward. There could be a little bit of murkiness, but I'm gonna go Becky Lynch and Naomi. All right, Chris. Uh, straight fire and Jimmy Uso's wife. Feel, feel the fire. 
Field of Fire or Straight Glow? One or the other. Uh, Kev? Uh, hmm. Oh, I mean, this match was kind of thrown together at the last minute. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with Naomi Lynn. All right. Preston? Uh, just because I could see it coming from a mile away, and just because I want to really, really get on Trent's nerves and make him want to get a bit of, get a flight ticket all the way out here to Connecticut, uh, okay. I'm going with Becky and Naomi. Okay, Trent. Trent. Why didn't you, Why didn't you put Trent and Preston in the same? You already. Uh, uh, I think my choice is pretty obvious for this match. Yeah, he's going with Becky and Naomi, right? Uh. On... Um, honestly, wait, we know, like, uh, when it comes with money, uh, in the bank, you know, like, uh, the contract holder, like, always, like, lose a lot before they, like, cash in, so, yeah, you, I'm gonna you. say Naomi and Becky. Alright, I'm Don't going, Call of Duty. I'm going out on the limb, I'm gonna go with Natalia and Carmella. So, either you're going to be a failure, place, or you're going to be, be the biggest so genius in the world. What is the last everybody. time? When was the last time Natalia was even on TV? When I told her she passed. could. What? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> and then Dylan Young has also chosen Becky Lynch and Naomi. Moving on, it's Rusev Day, or it's Nakamura Day. Either one, because it's Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev. Dylan, who you got? Uh, Hands down, Nakamura. Duh. Alright. Shelly. Uh, Nakamura. Chris. Shinsuke Nakamura. You racist. That was pretty accurate, though. <laughs> Kev. Snackable. Oh. Preston. I don't see Shinsuke losing to, WrestleMania, uh, losing to Rusev before WrestleMania. It'd be pretty stupid, so I'm going with Shinsuke. That's what I was you don't thinking. see him That's losing to thinking. WrestleMania. Okay. Trent. Nakamura. All right, wow, and I am. Can actually sing. And I'm also going with Shinsuke no, Nakamura, as is Dylan Young. Moving on, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championships on the line. The rekindling of an old rivalry. The Usos defending against the New Day. Dylan, who you got? Uh, well, I think this one can go either way, just because it depends on how WWE feels and what day it is of the week. I think it's going to be New Day. Okay. Taking the titles. Shelly. Um. Hmm. I, I honestly am. Could honestly go both ways. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go New Day. Alright, Chris. Well, when they were having their rivalry a lot last summer, um, I can't recall one time getting with their match right, and you know, I hope I get it right this time. Uh, new day. Okay, Kev. Ooh, so. Preston. Um. I think the Usos have had a long enough title reign, and I could see the New Day winning and the Usos invoking their rematch clause for WrestleMania, so going out on a limb and saying New Day. Okay, Trent. Yeah, I'll go with New Day as well, considering that they didn't have a match at WrestleMania last year. Quiet, Trent. Okay, and I'm going to go with the Usos. Uh, Dylan Young has an say uh, Dylan Young. Young. I was gonna say, I can't be the only one who's choosing the Usos. Right? No, I'm, I'm taking the Usos, hands down. Alright, next up, we've got the United States Championship match. The title Randy Orton has never held. He's gonna try and get it away from the glorious Bobby Roode. Dylan, who you got? Ooh. I could see this one going into WrestleMania as well, this robbery, but I just, I'm trying to think who would be going into as champion. And if they even make the main card, it may be a pre-show match. Because it always seems like the United States title always is. Uh, I want to say Randy Orton, but I'm actually going to go with Bobby Roode. Because I think we may see them fight again at Mania. And I think Orton will probably win it there. So, unless some changes, I'm going to go with Bobby Roode to retain the title. Okay. 
Uh, Shelly. So, I'm thinking about this one because there's a third element here that is Jinder Mahal. I don't know if he'll get involved or not in this match. So, I... I don't know. I think I think Rude's going to retain. I'm going to go through the retain. So who do you think is winning the match? Uh, I think... I do think... I'm still going to stick with Bobby Rude to win the match. I'm not going to make disqualification part of my condition, but it's just a thought in the back of my head. Okay. Kev. Uh, you know, Shelly actually played into my mind perfectly. Except I'm going with the opposite result. I'm saying Randy Orton's winning the match, EQ, because Jinder Mahal's going to interfere. Okay. Preston? Okay, I know I said earlier in the chat that Randy Orton would win the title, but... uh, I'm going to say that Rude retains to get his qualification because maybe... Maybe just maybe Jinder will interfere because of the three way rivalry that's going on. Uh, so I feel uh, like I'm going out as far as I can on that limb without breaking said limb. But I'm going to say, like, but hang on. What if Jinder would t- were to interfere? Wouldn't that be, and, and like throughout the match, wouldn't it be like a double DQ? Like, what were they real? A no contest? It would depend on who he it attacks. It usually goes to whoever they attack as the opposite or yeah. whatever. So if he and attacks usually Rude, Orton would, attack. if if attack. Orton, attack. Rude would win the match. If he attacks Orton, Rude would win the match. Yeah. So, he, yeah. Okay, so if Jinder were to attack Randy, then... Then, uh, 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 then Orton would win. Yeah. Okay, so or, I, I'm going to say Orton will win with that way, with Jinder attacking him. Okay. Trent. Orton wins by okay. He he's just been he's sitting on that soundbite, hasn't he? I say, I say, I say that yeah. Bobby, I say that Bobby Roode is gonna get attacked by Jenna Mahala. He'll win by DQ. All right. Come on, laugh when he just like so he distracts somebody and then <laughs> Are you just ends like that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I haven't done Chris. Oh, sorry, Chris. <laughs> okay. Well, I've done a lot of thinking now that I've gotten to hear everybody. Don't predictions. think that's uh, dangerous. Seth, who's yeah, it is pretty again? dangerous. Who's what? Who's in my division again? Uh, in your division? Uh, Shelly, Rada, and Joshua Michaels. Ah, damn it. Um, let me think. Shelly, who did you go with? You said Rude retaining and winning the match? That's what maybe, he said. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know you wanted a mystery, Shelly. All yeah. right. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go. go. Shelly went with Jenny okay, Mahal. You know, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Randy Orton winning by disqualification. Okay. Mahal's going to attack either one. All right, I am also going with Orton winning by disqualification because that would be Orton's in to be able to make it a triple threat at WrestleMania. And Dylan Young also went, he went with Bobby Roode. So it's pretty split for that one. All right, let's see if this one gets split. SmackDown Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair defending against Ruby Riot. Dylan, who you got? Well... He doesn't come alone to the match, so that's what I'm starting to wonder if that will play part in this match. So, oh, this is tough. Oh my gosh! I just I don't watch regularly, I don't get to keep up with it as much as probably everybody else in here. That makes it a little bit tougher. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say somehow, some way. Um, actually, no, I take I change my mind. Ruby's gonna win. Some kind, somehow she's going to pull it out and win and maybe set up for a match with her and Charlotte at Mania. Okay. Chris? You know, about three days ago, or before the most recent SmackDown, I said this is going to be the most predictable pay-per-view, compared, like just like Elimination Chamber, but with everything that's happened since then, it is very... It's become very tough. Ah. Uh, you know, with Ruby having her... Riot Squad with her ringside for that match. They're going to get involved one way or another. But the ref ain't going to see it. I think... I don't see it. Charlotte's going to retain. Okay, Shelly. So, I a thought just hit my head. Like, 
Never mind. No, it's just that Charlotte's usually equalizing factors are going to be in a match earlier in the night. And if they lose, they may not be able to make it to ringside. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Ruby, Ruby Riot wins. Okay. Uh, Kev. I'm going to say Charlotte. Uh, I, I I think uh, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan will end up getting thrown out of a match somehow. They'll definitely get involved, but I think they'll get thrown out and Charlotte will find a way to retain. Okay. Uh, Preston? Uh, I think maybe the, the Riot Skull will be ejected. Maybe Becky and Naomi may get involved, but either way, I think Charlotte will retain, but I do think Carmella will cash in, but I'm not. I'm not gonna like bank on it. No, no pun intended. But um, I don't think uh, predicting the money in the bank cash in will give me a point bonus. So I'm nope. just gonna. I, I don't know if like I don't know if getting getting the money in the bank prediction correctly will give me an extra point. I don't know if getting it wrong will make me lose said point. So either way, I'll just say Charlotte retains, and I'll just have like the money in the bank thing as an afterthought. Okay, Trent. I say Charlotte retains. If they're going to have uh, a newcomer win the title, they'll have it done at WrestleMania. And WWE is smart about it. So, yeah, I say Charlotte keeps it. Since when has right. WWE been really smart with the women's yeah, championship? Yeah, I have to agree. Okay, I'm going to go with Charlotte Flair. I think that she's somehow going to overcome the odds, and then when she's kind of there exhausting the ring, you know what I think is going to happen? I think Asuka's music's going to hit, and that's when Asuka's going to make it revealed that she wants to Charlotte challenge Charlotte for the title at WrestleMania. Oh. Uh, and let's see. Dylan Young also went with Charlotte Flair. All right. Moving on to you know you were saying Chris how it's the least predictable. I've been hearing so many rumors now, and it's really made me wonder uh, about this one, the outcome of this one. It's the WWE Championship in a six-pack challenge. AJ Styles defending against Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and John Cena. Dylan, who you got? Uh, this one could be in, diff- in so many different directions, honestly, who could win this. Um, I'm just looking at the names right now, and about half of them I can um, automatically just cross off. There's no way. Um, I just think it's too much of a risk for them to have AJ drop the title. Because I just think they have a good opportunity for Shinsuke to challenge for the title and have such a great match with AJ. And I still think that's going to happen. So, sorry, John. You're not going to get it today. It's going to be AJ Styles defending the title. All right, Chris. All right, I'm going to go through the process of elimination here. Corbin, no chance. Ziggler, no chance. As much as I would love to see it, no chance. Um, Sami Zayn and KO, they're going to have a match at WrestleMania. Let's just say it now. So take them two out. It's down to Styles and Cena. I have my thoughts with Cena and what's going to happen with him at WrestleMania, and everyone says, no, that's not going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. It's so, going to yeah, happen. Styles is retaining. All right, Shelly. Oh. Okay, so this week's angle with Zayn pinning Owens is going to cause a distrust in that group. Uh, so it's going to be... So I can cross four names off, which is Corbin... Uh, Kevin, Zane, and Ziggler. Cena was. I I know people say the Undertaker match is probably happening. I'm gonna go with Styles to retain, but I regret it. But it's fine. Okay. Uh, Kev. AJ, I just I just don't see anybody else really having a chance in a one. Okay, Preston. AJ to retain. I don't see a WWE um, throwing out their shit's gay AJ plans. Trent. If they choose to put the title on Cena, it's going to be the dumbest thing they've done in like a long time. And I, and I truly mean the dumbest of the dumb. So yeah, it's got to be Styles. Okay. Because AJ versus Nakamura is money. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm also going with AJ Styles to retain. 
and uh, Dylan Young is also going with that. So so far, the people that have picked it's AJ Styles all the way down the board. Also, just gonna make a quick uh, edit here. Dylan has said that he wants to change from his choice of Ruby Riot to Charlotte Flair for the Women's Championship match. So there no, you go. Thank you. I'll have second thoughts on that. And Shelly wants to change his women's tag pick. I want to go with Natalia and Carmella. I forget who Carmella. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's it for the verbal picks for WWE Fastlane happening here on Sunday. Uh, you guys can check down the description below to see who the other people chose for their respective matches, and then the results for each one of the championships will be put up the following day on the uh, Facebook group page, and we'll see if we have any inaugural champions, and if Kyle retains the world championship. But uh, other so, than that, any final thoughts from any of you guys? Kyle is not retaining. This is my moment. I am walking on the rest of the world champion. No more ties. Well, I, can, about I can see a lot of ties happening the way this, this pay-per-view is going to play out. It's not going to play out like Elimination Chamber did. I'll say that much. Cause this one's a bit less predictable. I'm, I'm too fat great, to be the great continental champion of all time. <laughs> well, here's the there's the only thing that I see. Um, as far as the uh, intercontinental championships concerned, Trent and I go in with the bonus points, but Chris, uh, you're the only one with a bonus point going into your championship match, and Kev is the only one with a bonus point going to his championship match. Match. Call Ooh, hacks, who am I with in the cruiserweight? Uh, you're with Levi. Uh, Dylan Young and Tim Fiegel. Yeah, he's screwed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, f- I'm, I'm too fat for to be a cruiserweight. Just pointing that out now. You said that nine times in the last thirty minutes. Last Shut up. up. Tim, you know, I'm just saying Tim Tom. I'm too fat to be a cruiserweight. They're going to drag out six matches for that long. Okay. Maybe only five this matches. We were talking about matches to be Naomi Natalia Carmella match being on the pre-show, so it may only be five matches. Oh, well, the main card. Each match will be 30 minutes to an hour and a half long, um, I feel like. Or they, the Elimination Chamber will probably take up a crap load of time. What? What? When is there an Elimination Chamber match in Fast Oh, not Lane? Elimination Chamber. The Elimination <laughs> match itself. You mean the, the Six, six pack, pack Challenge? challenge? There's no Elimination match. The Six Pack <laughs> Challenge is a six-man match. You can obviously tell I don't watch wrestling right now. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is quite clear. <laughs> I was thinking of the other pay-per-view. They just had Elimination Chamber. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you guys for our next predictions video, which will be predicting the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. So till then. Hopefully everyone will show up for that. Hopefully. So till then. Bye. Have a wonderful time. See ya. Goodbye. Adios.